Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing Pi-hole on your existing Debian or Ubuntu. Let's start by running apt update to update our software repositories, followed by apt upgrade to install any available updates. Then I like to run apt clean to reclaim the space that apt just used downloading packages. Next we'll use a curl command to download and execute the Pi-hole installation script. When prompted, use the arrow keys and enter to navigate through the configuration wizard. Select which upstream DNS server to use. When in doubt, you can leave the defaults for each of these options. Select whether you'd like to install the admin web interface. And if you don't have an existing web server, install like TTPD. Then choose if you want to log queries, and if so, what level of logging. For such a powerful application, Pi-hole installs really quickly. Once the installation completes, note the URL to reach the web admin interface. Finally, we'll use the Pi-hole command line utility to set the admin password. Open a web browser and navigate to the admin web interface URL. Click login in the left navigation menu. Then log in with the password you set with the Pi-hole command. At this point, Pi-hole is installed and it's ready for DNS queries. In most cases, I would recommend setting the DNS server via your home router, but for this demonstration, I'm going to change the settings on the device directly. I'll edit the network device settings, changing the DNS server to be the IP address of the Pi-hole server. After making the changes and applying them, I'll navigate to a website that I know has lots of ads and verify that Pi-hole is blocking them and the counters are going up. Welcome to DNS ad blocking with Pi-hole running on your existing Debian system. 